Hello, Janine Rossman here. As, uh, Janine Rossman Art. <laughs> and we are going to do some collage today with all those papers. Okay, that we made uh, the other day. So, one day we did painting um, on the book pages, and then the last time, I think that was Saturday, maybe? What's today, Wednesday? Okay, yeah, then Monday. Monday we did some mark making. So um, what I did, I took the pages and I grouped them by um, kind of color tones and I added some more. I did spent some time to finish up the other ones once I got off the live. So I really like that one. It looks kind of tribal, doesn't it? I really like it. That's what it was like painted. Yeah, it looks like feet. I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> So we got all these. I, I like that one. I did that one after I got off the live. That one's done with a with like pill packs. Save your own pill packs, like you know those little bubble pill packs. They're great for um, like printing and stuff. Like. Okay, so that's all that color. Um, and then we have uh, then I grouped with the greens. So I have some green tones. So I grouped all, all those together. Got all, got all those. And then I grouped, I have some gray neutrals, gray and black, and white. So there's those. And then I have a bunch of blues, but I just love blue. So blues and greens, as you can tell. Okay, so there is the painted ones, and that's okay. And then, there, then I worked on that, did some, um, I'm going to use a, a silver, I'm going to use the Uniball, and then that's a, I like a Posca, and uh, that's a Stabilo, and I think a uh, Posca. And then we have, yeah, I did greens. Okay, so we got all that done. So there we go. Hi, Carolyn, you're back. Okay, so here we go. We're going to um, work on this. Now, what they do here, these things here, you know, the uh, for overhead projectors, like the old school, which actually I used them not too many years ago. Well, I held on to them. Now you can use like you know those clear um, things that you put pages in. It has uh, how do you, oh how do you say your name? Kali Kalisi. Very interesting name. So um, hello there. Uh, so you can use those book pages that. Um, you know, you use for reports and you slide in papers and put them in there. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? So what I do is take um, take these and I put them underneath my my pages, and this helps it. Um, so when I'm you know getting into be a hot mess and get stuff all over the place, it keeps it from going to the page underneath, especially if you have it finished and you want it to look nice. Okay, so let me um, switch the camera here. There we go. Okay, so this, I was messing around with coffee and ink. We did that the other day. And then, and then, um, I don't know, I had some random magazine pages, and so I glued down this one page, and you can't see it now, but this is part of it. It had a picture, this shape, and had some cups some different cups and so I really like the shape of the picture but I didn't want this little teeny thing you know whatever so so I just made the picture like made a really big one and I thought I put some cups over here and that's all the farther I got so here we are and I traced this because what I was thinking as I sat down to look at this we're going to use some collage papers on here um, I may have to paint over top of that. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe put something down here. You know, I don't know. Page protectors, yes, page protectors. That's what they're called, Carolyn. 
I'm always at a loss for words. <laughs> I'm like, now what's the word I'm thinking of? Okay. Something else I did, which I always am forgetting, is I, I got my um, aromatherapy. Well, it doesn't matter what kind. It's just some hand cream. It really doesn't matter. Now, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Get the thing open. Okay. It's kind of a weird color. Okay. Oh, that's body scrub. Oh, for crying out loud. I got body scrub. I meant cream. Oh, here's some cream. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put on some lotion on my hands because if you've seen any of my past ones, you know that I tend to paint with my hands all the time. So, and then, and then what happens, especially if I uh, get out those little uh, inks called distress inks. Oh, yeah. Those things stain my hands for three days. <laughs> What the heck? I scrubbed and scrubbed. That's where God I couldn't get the stuff off of my hands. I'm like, dang, that stuff really, you know, in the sand. Yeah, it put me into a little distress. <laughs> okay, so I'm not like just take that and tear that. That is old book pages tear super duper easy. All right, so. I think I'm going to put it there. Now, I don't know if I should cut this away and cut around it. I'm thinking maybe just paint right on top of it. What do you think? So I just glue it down and then repaint it on top of it. That's what I'm, I'm thinking maybe. Instead of like cut around it and have those perfect cuts, which I hate perfect cuts. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I think what are we going to do? Okay, so we're going to use some um, gel medium. And where'd my little spatula go? Okay, I'm going to use my little spatula. I love this catalyst, my spatula guy. And I can stick that baby right on the back like this. Now you want to use the um, the gel medium versus the fluid. So the fluid, the fluid is real liquidy, okay, and the gel, as you can see, is super thick. The gel will hold collage much, 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 much better. I'm gonna go ahead and stick stick that down and then just go right back on top and that will have to dry. And then I'll have to go back in there and repaint on top of it. But I really like the pattern. It kind of helps um, add a little something. I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe go something else right here. What do you think? I love the joke about the distress thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it did put me in distress, Kathy. Uh, I was like, what the heck? I can get this stuff off my hands. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It's funny. I, I say I say kind of sarcastic things sometimes when I teach. And the older kids, they get it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they love it because I'm like, oh, <laughs> going, oh she roasted you. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> we're turning you over the fire or something. <laughs> That's like their new thing, roasting. Okay, I remember, remember the roast back in the day with um, Dean Martin and all them, where they would do those uh, roasts and stuff. Um, those are fun. I have a couple of the old, um, uh, some, some DVDs that have some of those old roasts on them that are really cool. Okay, so we need to put, I'm thinking something right here. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I don't know, maybe something like that. I don't know. 
Let's see here. What should we put on this? Okay, which one do you guys like? Do you like the circles or the tick marks? Somebody tell me. What do you want me to put on there? I, uh, I like them both, so I could go either way. Hmm. I kind of like the way that's kind of ripped like that. Maybe we should do some of both. You like the tick? Okay, we're going to do the tick. Okay, so, okay. Putting it right down there. I'm just going to hold it. I'm thinking about tiny what these old book pages they tear up super duper easy. Like butter. I like the irregular energy of that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that. And I'm gonna take this card and just make sure that's it. And I'm just using an old, you know, Amazon card. And um, yeah, I got an old card. Hold on to it. There it's really great for uh, mixed media. Helps uh, smooth off uh, your collage papers down. Okay. There we go. Right. And I'll put some on top. Oh yeah, I was watering outside because like when I'm done with my um, demos and stuff, when I'm done you know, working with acrylics and I have to clean out my water jars, I always um, dump them out. I kind of like toss them out in the front yard because I have a septic tank and you know, who wants to replace that? Not me. And it costs a gazillion dollars. So. So I dumped the water out there. What I did not realize is yet, I found my little brayer out in the yard when I was um, watering. I looked down and went, oh, that's my brayer. It's a little rusty. <laughs> I'm like, that's where that thing went to. <laughs> it did, got tossed out with the water. Okay, so put that guy down. There. Really like this. I'm not sure where I should put some of this. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? You like this dark brown? Both. Put them both down. Okay. So let's see here. No. Maybe then maybe you tear it. Yeah, like doing a regular tear or something like that. Would you like that? I don't know. Maybe something like that. Oh, well, I don't like that triangle shape. That looks kind of weird. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Over the picture. Which picture? This one? The pitch oh the picture? The 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 picture the psh. Okay, so put it over this way. Oh yeah, okay. I'm liking that. Let's see here. I don't really have to cut out the picture, so let's see here. I can do that, and then when it dries, I can just trim it or something. Maybe do that, I think. Okay, I think we'll do that. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm thinking. I need to put it on here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, how about you guys tell me, where are you viewing from? Are you viewing from my 
uh, Janae Rossman on our business page? Are you viewing the video in the Mixed Media Art Journaling group? Um, I don't know how it works on YouTube. I don't know how. I'm still figuring that one out. It's supposed to be going into YouTube. I don't know. I, I don't know yet. <laughs> Technology. Technology. A lot of moving parts trying to figure all this stuff out. I really like that a lot. Really, really like that. Huh. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering. I don't know if I like that straight edge. What do you think? Get rid of the straight edge? The mixed media group and the business page. Okay, cool. So I'm seeing all the comments on both. That's cool that I can see them from both. Um, that's nice to know. Oh, I think I'll just take that little piece and stick it right there. What do you think? That'll work. Add a little, a little bling over there. All right. Oh, no. I'm not sure what to do with this one. I kind of don't like the straight. Hello, Janice. How are you today? All right. I don't know. Maybe put some there and put some over here. I don't know. Yeah. Where is it going to go? Yeah, maybe on the table. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think we'll just put that there. And go ahead and put one of these down. Stick that one down. I already stuck that one, yeah. And I need to put that some on top of there. And now, with the credit card, or the whatever. Just smooth that down. Good. Okay. All right. So I have a piece of pattern from sewing pattern paper I thought was kind of cool. Maybe. I kind of like the, the lines and things. Let me see here. Oh, look, I like the arrow. So let's put the arrow on it. Let's put the arrow. I like that. Cut overlap like that. I'm going to have to watch the replay. You clearly did some stuff. Well, okay, so, um, okay, so Janice, this is an old page. Like, um, remember the other day when I was showing you, like, ink and coffee? Well, I was messing around with the ink and coffee, okay? And then I had glued a, a just a picture from a magazine because I, I really liked it. It had a picture like this on it, and it had some cups and bowls or something. And I, I just liked the shapes of them. So I stuck it there, and I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I come back to something later and figure it out. So what I did, I, I, I used that shape of the picture and I just made a bigger one and I had made these cups and then, and then when I started the video, I just explained that and then I'm, I'm now just adding collage to it. So this page has been, I don't know, been around for a while. <laughs> I one day I'll do something, just plain. And then some, and then another day I'll do something else. Cause I'll just like flip through it, and then like one day I was flipping through it, and I thought, oh, I really like that shape of the picture. Let's make it big. And so you just, you know, that's what's cool about art journals is that you can just flip around and maybe do a little bit on something one day, and 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 then you go, okay, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, and just stop. <laughs> and then you can do something else on another day. So let's see here. How about, I'm really liking these patterns. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, I think we can add a little piece of, piece of pattern paper over here. 
I'll put the gymnasium on the paper because, instead of on the tissue because the tissue is so thin. All right. Oh, that's that's vertical. That that line is vertical. Let's see here. Oh, same as that one, which bothers me. Let's let's add another piece. Let's overlap another piece. What the heck? Let's stick another piece like right here. There. Okay, there. That way it's not like perfectly, you know, just looks too perfect. Mm -hmm. like I'm going to take this little piece, it has some like writing on it. Maybe I'll stick that one maybe over here. Maybe at an angle so it's not like. Well, see, now that's mimicking that angle. I don't like that either. Well, maybe I do like this up and down. I kind of do like it up and down. But I kind of don't want to cover that. Well, huh. I'll stick it right there. There. I think that'll work. Stop sticking all over the place. Okay. So, I went to... Plaza Art, which is a local art store here, and um, remember that marker that ran out the other day, my big chunky monkey, um, this one, this big uh, Liquitex one, okay, so I found there, they have empty ones, and they can put fluid, um, fluid acrylic in it, and we're going to do that on Saturday in the in the group. So, um, you'll get to see how we do that. So that'll be fun. I still haven't gone back to that one mix, that one abstract. I, I do that, you know, I'll kind of work on something, do a few things, and then I'm like, well, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, and then one day when I flip through my book, I'll go back and I'll go, oh, that's what it needs. <laughs> so, it's nice to have many things working at the same time. You don't have to finish like an entire page like in one sitting. I mean, you would just don't. That's what's um, that's the beauty in having a journal is you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it on artwork either. Actually, I'll tell you what, what's a nice thing to do is when you're working on artwork is to have several of them and work in a series where you have several going. And so where you have the paint out, put a little bit on this one, put a little bit on that one, put a little bit on the other one. And then um, you got three things going on. And that way, like when you're stuck on one, you just stick the thing to the side and then you um, get, get the other one, work on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up for the moment. And I'm gonna pull out some paint. And um, work on that cup. Oh, that's way too much paint right there. This is going to put stuff over. Put the paint over here. There we go. Okay. So I do pull out some paint gray. I have way too much white. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Okay. So let me just start okay. So this is just a graphite whale heck. I'm just going to put this, because I like that shape of the bottom, and I want to make sure I get it the same. So I'm kind of good with color the back of that with, um, the pen, with the graphite, and then go back over top of it. Okay, so now... Yeah. 
come in here and add now oh, that brush is just too big. Make that a littler brush. shape kind of started. All right, oh, we need to finish the handle too, don't we? Okay. Yeah, it looks like a hot mess, but that's okay. All right, so I need some black, and that's what I don't know. Drop it on my palette. There. And now I can just use that paint. Kind of blend that for a shadow like that. Okay. I never know what I'm going to do. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I fly by the seat of my pants, and that's what makes it fun. Okay. I don't know. I think I need some. Something warmer. Let's have a little drop of burnt sienna. Yeah, I kind of warm up the cup a little bit. Except black is just too cool. Where the paint is. I don't want to use gesso. Gesso is a little flatter because um, who knows what gesso is made out of. Anybody know? You know what uh, gesso is made out of? So you have a the acrylic binder. And there's something else in there. Anybody know? No guesses. So, um, gesso has plaster in it. Yeah. There's plaster in it. So, and that's, um, and that is gesso. So that's why you get a nice flat, um, dull surface. Okay, so I need to come in here with some water soluble stuff. There we go. Okay, I think maybe 
inside that cup needs to be a little darker. Little bit darker. Let's get a little warm tone. Okay. And now, now I need some, I'm gonna get some fluid medium. And I could use fluid or I could use the gel, but I'm gonna use fluid because I really don't need to have the gel. So it'll be easier to work with. This. Okay. So is put the fluid because you remember remember the other day when I was using this the um is this is a water soluble graphite and this is a 12b I was so excited when I found out I could find a 12b I was like yeehaw I really like the 12B. So this will seal that graphite. Because, you know, it it's water soluble and then at the same time it's going to seal it. And I can blend with it, which is kind of fun. I think I'm going to use it and kind of do a little scribbly down here. Oh, wow, that's kind of dark. Holy moly. And now I'm going to use the back of my brush and kind of scribble. All right, now this one, well, I never painted the bottom of that cup. Go over that too, don't I? That one, I don't think I, I, I didn't use the same shape. Let's see here. I need a more smooth cup. Okay. I think maybe I like that. Look at that blue in there. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like the blue. Oh, yeah, for the shadow. Let's use some, is that the matte medium or is that the, I can't remember what's what. Oh, that's a matte medium. I don't know. Which one's the matte, I think that one's the gel gel. Let me put that over there and get it out of the way. They both look the same. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Still not crazy over it, so I'll have to fiddle with that later. I think I'm gonna come in here and maybe oop, need to get some more paint on there. I think that needs to be dark. You like it? You think it's super cute, huh? I really do uh, really like it as it works the colors and I love the pattern. I think the patterns on here really added a nice little pop to it. Now we'll just keep messing around with these cups. mess with the cups anymore right now. I'm tired of messing with the cups. So I'm going to move over here where I think I need to touch the picture right there. There's something right there. Okay. 
now I need something else. Let's see here. What else are we going to play with? Let's see. I eyeballed something up here. Sepia. That's too brown. I don't like it. Let's see here. What I'm thinking is the Remember those from the other day? Oh my days. Look at that perfect color, right? Again. Oh, where did that little where did my little roller go? My little roller that I lost out in the yard. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can't believe I found it in the yard. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Okay, that does not look like gesso. Does not, not look like gesso. Hold on. Oh, what's that mean? Okay, here we go. Here's some gesso. Let's put some gesso. I tried using these ketchup jars. I thought, oh, this will be great. It squirts out. Well, you gotta really squeeze it to make it come out, and then it goes all over the place. So that was not a good choice. So but before I do that, I'm just going to. Okay, now my little roller doesn't want to roll. Okay. The scribbles. Okay, let's put let's put some. Hmm. I think this one needs a little bit of white over here and some scribbles. And okay, put out some quinacrylate. Who's ever heard of Kanakana Nickel Azel Gold? Oh my gosh, this is a super pretty color. It is so pretty. Remember when we used the Kanakana Magenta the other day? This is the Kanakana Nickel Azel Gold. It is so beautiful. I love, 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 love it. See, look, how, look how bright that is. That might be too bright for this. I still really like it. something. Oh, you like it? Yeah, it, it is so pretty. I mean, it is really a gorgeous color. Let's see here. Uh oh, it's a white paper somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Oh, careful, you go on this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's just so, oh, it's luscious. I, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, ink. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get out some acrylic ink. Girls, let's do that. Okay. So, let's see here. That's indigo. That's a little too blue. Let's get, let me see if I can find my Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray. I love Payne's Gray. That's another favorite color. So, this is Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is a blue black. And it actually is a mixture of um, is a mixture of oh, brain fart. Uh, 
um, ultramarine blue and, and black. But it's a lot easier to just buy it in the tube. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some here. Okay, now I'm going to get a spray bottle. Oh, I get so excited when it does that. I just, it's so exciting. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking that. Okay, let's put a little bit over here. bottle. Okay, now I think I want a couple more drips in here. I'm going to put this here and then what I do, okay, is you take your brush where the, and bring the water down, like where you want the drips to be. See how, I'm, and now it's going right there where I added that water. Now I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it right there. And now we need some over there. Do you see how by putting that there, it like frames it nicely? I think I need some down here too. Okay, so let's put some up here. I think what I need to do is trim that first. So let me, let me grab some scissors here. Turn it. Oh, I wanted to let you ladies know. Um, on the Monday and Wednesdays, I'm going to start moving it to seven o'clock because of um, I teach school. And school's about to go in session in two weeks. And so I have to get up at the crack of dawn. I'm talking before the birds. Because um, I have a long drive to work on the other side of town. So um, I started thinking by the time I get done with the live, I need time to actually clean, clean the mess up afterwards before I go to bed. So... I'm going to do it at 7 instead of 8. Heading to dinner. Okay. Will you enjoy your dinner, Kathy? Now, one more thing. Um, what is this water box? I'm getting a little stubborn little blur. Uh, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing any lives next week, and that's because I'm going to be out of town. So... This Saturday I will be, okay, but next Monday and then, let me see, Saturday and Monday, and yes, and Wednesday I will, the following Saturday. So I'll make a post, I'll make a post so you'll know, but it's like the following Saturday and then that Monday and Wednesday after that, I, I won't be doing lives because I'll be out of town, so... But then we'll get back to the schedule after that. Okay. I think we need a couple drips coming down right in here. What do you think? I think a little water there. A little water drip there. This is where I put that. I have to kind of move it so I can see where the where I did it. Okay. Now, there. Now it's you know, making a little U turn there and kind of going, doing a little fork in the road. A little fork in the road. There we go. I'm going to plop that so stop it there. Okay. 
I like that. I'm really liking that. What do you think? Um, the black ink. Oh, you mean when I was using this? The black one? Or do you mean this? The top ink? This top ink, it's not actually black, it's Payne's Gray. And this is Dale Rowney. Um, and it's acrylic ink. Okay, so this is acrylic ink. When I was down here, I was using just indie ink. But this is acrylic ink, so it is permanent. And I'm telling you, oh, they got all kinds of colors. All kinds of colors. Like, like okay, so this is just the cool colors. Can you kind of see all those blues and purples and greens? And then... Here's the neutrals. My, one of my favorites is antelope brown. It's like a brown green. And then I've got a whole bunch of warm colors too over here that aren't in a little tray. I'd have to pull them all out of the drawers, but there's lots of colors. So, um, yeah, I love acrylic inks. They're so much fun. So much fun. So, I don't know. I can't, I'm really liking this. Let's see here. I don't know. Something about that edge that I don't like. So I'm thinking maybe I think we need some I think we need some scribbles. I think we need some scribbles and maybe a little bit of finger painting. Boy, I like how that's kind of, it's, oh, I really am liking that. Really am liking that. Yeah. Okay. So I may need to call it quits before I might mess it up. I'm thinking, I think what I'm going to do is do a little scribble in in there. And I think, let's see here. Just a little bit of scribble, and then I'm not going to touch it after I scribble it. Where did that go? There we go. All right, and then I'm going to use my. I really like that scratching into the paint with the with the brush. Okay, so I think this one over here needs some white. Some scribbles. Let me try that again. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Something about this light spot here because it's at the bottom. I think it's too light. So. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's see here. What should we do? Maybe put, maybe take a little bit of Payne's Gray. Stick that right there. And then, and then, and then I'm going to scribble. <laughs> All scribble, scribble. Okay, I think that, I think, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. Okay, so. I may come back and do some touching up on, on those cups. I'm not real happy. I liked the cups before. I messed, them up, messed with them. So I may go back and 
fiddle with it on a later time because um, I'm digging the cups so well. Something about them. So, okay. I'm glad you like it, Janice. But yeah, this was fun. I love those collage papers on there. That was really cool. So, what I had done with this was like, okay, so you see this? I was messing around with the ink and coffee. You can tell I like the ink and coffee like a whole lot. And then this was starting to tear. So, I put masking tape and I went over it with some gesso. And I saw this bird and I'm like, that bird's kind of cool, so I stuck the bird there. <laughs> so I might paint over that. And maybe we'll have to work on that page here one of these days. We'll have to work on that page. So I love this, like, really gritty, earthy. I really like that. I like the way that came out. So, yeah. I gotta get, I gotta start thinking about what we're gonna do with this, right? I haven't done anything yet. I have to think about that. But I think I need to do, I don't know, maybe some bright collage papers. Maybe we should do some jelly printing here one of these days. So, I have an idea for, and we're gonna work on an abstract on Saturday. And then maybe Monday, maybe Monday we'll do some jelly printing. What do you think? Oops, wrong one. Ah, ah crud. Here we go. There we go. So, who's ever done jelly printing? Have you got? Have you girls ever done jelly printing before? Do you know what jelly printing is? Oh, you just ordered a jelly plate. Cool. Well. You want to learn all the fun stuff you can do with the jelly plate. Oh my gosh. I literally will spend an entire day doing jelly printing. It's so much fun. So much fun. I mean, I have oodles of it. Oh, you've never done it. Okay. Well, you'll have to whip out your jelly plate on Monday because we are going to do some jelly. I think we're going to do jelly printing. Okay, let me write that down because, you know, I have... I have a memory of a gnat. <laughs> stuff. Jelly, jelly print on Monday. Okay, we're going to jelly print on Monday. That's what we're going to do. We're going to jelly print on Monday. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to show you all kind of fun stuff you can do with jelly printing. It is a total blast. Um, so we'll make some more collage papers. <laughs> I have stacks of I'm going to use some fun colors. I think I'm going to whip out the bright colors for the jelly printing. I might do a little bit of everything. Who knows what I'm going to do. So, okay. I really like this. I like it. Okay. Well, I had fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, you bought a ton of stencils. Yes. Um, you know who has some really cool stencils? Stencil Girls. Have you ever looked at Stencil Girls, Janice? Um, online. They have some amazing stencils. There's a plethora of stencils. A plethora. They have so many. But, um, that's one. And this one. I think that one's cool. And this one. It's like, Real abstract. I mean, I'm just, I'm jelly print, print Oh, these ones are cool too. And this one's got a bird, and this one's like scribbly text kind of, kind of one. And this is like some um, abstract thing. So we'll pull those out. Now I will tell you, stencil girls on um, Black Friday that time, that time of year. Only time they have their stencils on sale, 25% off. Yeah. So, fill up your carts <laughs> for Black Friday. Black Friday, I, I don't go to the stores. I, I, I have a list of 
for places that I know that like sell art stuff. <laughs> and that's that's what I do by front I'm like it's more like Cyber Monday. I'm like, okay, I'm buying these glasses, I'm getting these stencils, I'm getting these art supplies. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna call the night. I'm gonna clean up my big mess. <laughs> yes. Um yeah. Um, when I think of it, I'll let you girls know um, all the good, all the places who have uh, some good deals going on with the, the supplies uh, when things are on sale. So, okay, you girls have a nice evening, and until next time, happy creating, and I will see you Saturday. Bye-bye.